Hey everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video and it is Sunday today so we're going to be diving into our third operator review of this series and today is going to be Zofia. Zofia was the clear winner on the last video having someone's comment with 13 likes. Now I know I'm still trying to figure out this whole voting system so I've decided I'm going to do a new system. And this new system is going to be, if you go to the comment section down below, there's going to be three comments from me. It's going to be the three new people that are up on the table, which is going to be either Jaeger, Warden, or Buck. There's going to be three comments from me, and go down and like the comment from me that you want to see from the next operator, so that it, it stops double voting from people liking and dropping a comment as well. So that means we'll get the real operator that people want to see, so make sure to go down below before this video starts and vote for the operator you want to see next week. And other than that, that's, that's all i got to say. Let's hop into the Zofia Guide. Now as always we're going to be starting off with the weapon review and then moving on to the gadget utilization and operator strategy. So starting off with the weapon review into Zofia's guns. Starting off with Zofia's primary weapon it is the M762 assault rifle which has 45 damage on 730 rounds per minute. This gun is really one of the best guns in the game with long range, low recoil and just a hard hitting weapon in general. And if you, if you do play this game, most of you would understand that Zofia's fragging abilities are one of the top you can bring to the attacking side. This gun brings capabilities to the attacking side that you don't get anywhere else. The ACOG, the decent magazine size, and just the low recoil and hard hittingness of the weapon you don't get anywhere else, and that's why I recommend using this weapon on Zofia. But there is her alternative option was the LMG-E. The LMG-E really has no recoil for a light machine gun, and, it, and it, it does 41 damage on 720 rounds per minute, with a massive 150 rounds in the magazine. You basically don't have to reload this gun all game. This thing is going to hit hard constantly, and it really is a decent weapon as long as you know how to hit your shots. It only does 4 damage less than a primary weapon, and it has, a hun it has 120 more rounds in the magazine. So really, this weapon you would think is better, but honestly, the M7 is just more of a damaging straight up weapon that you want to bring on the attacking side. Now diving into her secondaries, the RG-15 handgun, the sighted handgun that started the revolution of sighted handguns from Ella and Zofia. It is a 9mm semi-automatic handgun that does 38 damage, and it is a pretty good damaging weapon. It is good to whip out when you want to get some spawn kills for your YouTube channel, or you just want to use it to finish off some kills, really. It's a good weapon, it has a good damage count, and it can be, efe it can be efficient when you're using it to attack the enemy team. Now moving on to gadget utilization, Zofia brings to the attacking team the KS-79 Lifeline, a double barrel launcher. This thing, this thing is actually really useful, everyone used to call it the Ash 2.0 kind of uh, weapon, but I don't think it really is that. It brings concussions and impact grenades coming out of a uh, shootable barrel that is entertaining to use and is also very effective. Bringing these impact grenades gives you soft world destruction at a rapid pace just like Ash that you can use to rush the objective and use Zofia to her maximum ability, which is to frag. Using this on a roof or a wall pushing into an objective immediately can really get you an advantage on the enemy team if you catch, catch them off guard, and you know, using this ability can really be efficient. Pairing this up with the double barrel on the other side, the concussion grenades, can be really effective if you use it to shoot down an impact rotation, and if you know, an, where, you know where an enemy is, you shoot that thing, they're concussed just like an Ella, and they're going to be at a disadvantage not being able to hear or see as clearly as you. If you utilize this in the, her fragging ways, then you can, push an, you can push them immediately once you can cuss them and pick up a kill. And that is definitely the primary use of the lifeline. It is to rush, frag, you know, that is Zofia's main goal. She, 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 I wouldn't say she's a slow pusher. She doesn't really bring any team utilization to the team. Like, she can't get reinforced hatches or anything, reinforced walls. She doesn't have a special drone. She just has, like, that ash capability of fragging hard, and that's what makes her such a great operator. Now finally finishing up, we have the Operator Strategies. Now the Operator Strategies is how you really should play Zofia, and I've kind of already been over this, and it is to be a fragger. That is basically our only option. You can play support with Zofia and try and back up like a Montang or something, I guess you could say, but her primary goal is just to get kills, really. She's 2 speed, 2 armor, and she brings to the table a great, great set of weapons that you can use to frag off the enemy. So I don't see why you wouldn't frag with her, and her ability doesn't really bring any utilization that you need to keep for late round. And even though she doesn't have any utilization, she still has a very high pick rate due to her fragging capabilities, and that's why I recommend you play a frag with Zofia. Make sure to get into those objectives as early as you can. Don't rush though, don't just get yourself killed. Make sure you get in there, get some line of sights, and get some kills. Because that is what she's for. Her low recoil weapons are going to make it very easy for you to get some kills if the enemy is not looking, or even if they are, just make sure you hit their head. 
Use that ACOG to your advantage that she has on both of her weapons, and use that sighted pistol if you really want to, and just make sure to pick up some fr pick up some kills and just get get in there, shoot those impacts, shoot those um, concussions, get in there, get some kills, and pick off useful enemy teams such as Mira and stuff, Mira, Bandit, Cade, all that early, so you, so the other team is disadvantaged, and that's because of you. And that's basically all I can give you on how to play Zofia. Just get in there and frag out. That's that's basically my only tip for you. I don't really know what else to say. And that is really about it for the Zofia guide. I know these videos are probably pretty short, but I'm trying my best to try and pack in as much information as I can. But ho make sure to let me know if you guys want longer or shorter videos. And once again, make sure to go down to the comment section below if you haven't already and click on one of my comments on who you want for the next video out of Jaeger, Warden, or Buck. I'm willing to do any. Whoever wins the vote will be done next week. And thank you guys for coming to another Sunday video of Operator Guides. I hope you guys enjoyed the Zofia Guide. I hope you learned something from this. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say to you guys. I'll make sure to catch you guys in the next video, and we'll talk then. Peace!